Hello Internet! Today I want to show you a practical guide to build your own web application from Hugging Face models. If you want to use them, this is the very easy way in five minutes that you can build your own web application. The first thing we have to do working here on the Colab notebook is to install Gradio. Gradio is a great Python package. As you can see here, we run through the installation. And if you want to find out more about it, just look at gradio.app getting started. Then we just load some strings. This will be the beginning of our sentences that we want to apply our text generation models, our NLP models from Hugging Face models. So how you work with Gradio. Gradio is a very nice app I found. Import Gradio as GR, then you can have some, some article as it's called. But this is the whole command that we use for our app. So let's go over it piece by piece. We have Gradio.parallel. I want to load two Gradio models in parallel. And this is from Hugging Face GPT J, 6 billion parameters, and the GPT Neo model with 2.7 billion parameters. I want to load them in parallel. And as I told you, Gradio has always a function, an input, and an output. And then a little bit around, but this is it. So these are our two models. We have interface.load command in Gradio. So we directly access those two models on Hugging Face. Our input, as you can see here, is a simple Gradio input text box where we have two lines. And you can have some pre-text filled in these lines. And we do this with examples. And those examples are my examples. Those are the start of the sentences that I executed here. Yeah, maybe let's execute this because it's going to take some time because, of course, we have to connect to Hacking Face for these two models. Yes, here we go. What is left? Now, left is simple that you say then some comments, some articles, some description. You can have a title, as you can see here. And this is already it. Then you just say dot launch. And here we go. You have now already built for you a Gradio app that you can use. And if you're interested to have an external link here, no problem at all. Because this is what we're going to do here in the second part of our video. So you see here, this is the app we built. Now, let's have a look at it in detail. In the title description, your app for Hugging Face NLP models, great. Then you have the description, choose your AM model wisely. We have GPT-G of 6 billion versus the GPT-Neo version. And then the nice thing either, you can type in whatever you like, or if you want to have some predefined text for you already, then you just click on the link and you say submit. And this is it. The rest is done by the Hugging Face model. There's a beautiful integration and you can build your app and you get the result of two Hugging Face models directly in your output presentation, in your app. So the first one is our GPT-J 6 billion and the second one is our GPT-Neo model. So let's have a look. On a cold winter day when the sun has barely touched the sky, and the light sprinkle of snow falls silently on the ground and the frozen air is hard and brittle. The wind is an insistent presence. Not so bad, not so bad. And the, the smaller model also is quite great. So this was text generation. But let's look at when we have the third planet in our solar system is named. What about some facts? The third planet in our solar system is named as Venus. So why is it called Venus? First of all, there's no scientific reason. Okay. The third planet in our solar system is named in reference to a legendary ruler of the Incan Empire who held the city of Cusco as the capital of an empire. Hmm. So you see, fact-checking is not a strength of these models because 
The third planet in our solar system, I hope, is not Venus, as you know. Let's go to something really polarizing. Some vaccine news. Let's submit this and let's see what the model comes up with. We want to understand what happens if you use these models. You should be prepared to the shortcoming of the models, what can a model achieve and what it cannot achieve because it just ingests input data you provide the model for. COVID vaccines are regarded as an effective way to stop the spread of the virus. Recent studies suggest that the COV-2 could spread more easily between people with a weakened immune system. And that sounds reasonable. And the smaller models increase and boost immunity in elder population, which would otherwise be more susceptible to diseases. You see, you get some results where the system learns from the input data it was provided when the GBTJ model was trained either on the pile or on other sources of information. But you should always be aware that the data input, the quality of your data input, determines the output you receive even from the best model. So be careful if you have some polarization, which some people might regard as, well, open for discussion. And then we have, uh, have an input, the January 6th committee ramps up efforts to investigate. This is a rather recent uh, happening. So let's see if we already have some data on this. And as you can see, the January 6th committee ramps up effort to investigate California power crisis. And we get a date from 2001. So even if this system has been updated in January 2022, visibly, there is currently in the 6 billion free parameter model of a neural network, no information displayed about the January 6, 2021 happening. And even if you go to the smaller model with just half the size of three parameters, you see you get some output and run right, with the state of Qatar. So also here you see that the input information might be older than one year or even longer than one year. So if you want to investigate or check those models for some recent news, be aware that maybe you will not get the most recent results back. So your Hugging Face NLP models, they are trained beautifully on an incredible amount of input data, either the pile or even advanced training data sets. But be aware what the system can and cannot do. And an LLP system, even if it's now 20 billion free parameters, is not able to distinguish or reflect your personal opinion. So there's a clear limitation of the system. But what I wanted to show you how to program your own system, and either you have it here in Colab, and of course you can use it here in Colab, let's say, I don't know, the weather outside Yes, and then let's submit it here. It also works in Colab. The weather outside is so frightful it could make us forget our own fire, fear of fire inside of us. Okay, I do not know this text. It's iced, but it's actually snowing. Uh, no, this is also not true because the system has no information about my geography location. <laughs> the temperature is between minus 10 and minus 5 degrees Celsius. Well, can tell you this information for my particular <laughs> station is wrong. <laughs> the humidity is over 50%. There's no fault silently. I mean, it's a beautiful text, but this is not Fact. This, these sentences do not represent the truth. 
about my particular location. So again, you see here, just have in mind what a system can and cannot do. This is it for the first video. Thank you. And I hope giving you the code to experience your Hugging Face model, build your own app with Gradio, and enjoy building web apps with really exciting LLP models. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.